Good morning, everyone. How's it going out there? Welcome back here to a Monday morning. It is 6.34 in the a.m. California time here. December 8th, 2025 is the date. Starting off this Monday morning with a large earthquake out there around the eastern coast of Japan. Uh, northeast here of Tokyo, along the Japan Trench, 33 miles deep for a 7.6 earthquake. That earthquake uh, coming in quite strongly here onto all the seismograph stations, including uh, even, the, even ones in California. Uh, so this is a pretty big earthquake. It may get revised here. Just thinking, uh, looking at the size, it may get revised to a little bit larger magnitude. Either way, there is currently a tsunami threat to Japan, and it looks like up there along the Kamchatka area as well. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the latest information here from the Tsunami Warning Center for the U.S. and the, uh, the um, uh, territories out here and whatnot. As of right now, hazardous tsunami waves are possible for coasts located within 1,000 kilometers of the epicenter of this earthquake. So we're talking about Japan and Russia, Kamchatka area, as I mentioned. Uh, and that is the only threat at the moment. Nothing to Hawaii, nothing to the West Coast. Uh, if we check out the Hawaii information statement right here, you can see that... Uh, Based on all available data, there is no tsunami threat to Hawaii. And that's going to be reading the same here across the BC area, Alaska, and uh, the west coast there. Um, let's see. The following parameters are based on rapid preliminary assessment of the earthquake and changes may occur. But uh, as of right now, there's no danger to the west coast. You know, this is kind of a big earthquake here. Been watching the Pacific really rock and roll out here recently. And uh, it's a decent size event. Roughly in the area where the 9.1 struck back in 2011. I really didn't think there was enough energy built up out here for a, uh, even this size of a quake. But uh, obviously things are changing out here. Uh, this has been a decent amount of uptick going on along this area. Even in the last oh, month and a half, well, has it been over a month? Let me see here. We had a pretty good cluster of earthquake activity there just to the south of where today's activity is uh, hitting. Yeah, we had a bunch of fives, even a couple sixes in there. Look at that, 6.8, 6.4. So, yeah, seven, uh, 7 7.6 just to the north here. It is a major accumulator of slip and, and strain, you know, in terms of building up that... Uh, that energy for a big earthquake it doesn't take hundreds of years, but I didn't think it would uh, only take uh, 14 years now. Yeah, about 14 years or so since the uh, 2011 uh, nine pointer. <clears throat> Just trying to wake up out here, folks. It's a little early. My earthquake alert app went off, letting me know that there was a uh, seven pointer above a seven pointer coming in somewhere around the globe. And sure, sure enough, it uh, hit in the Japan air, area. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this may get revised here, folks. Maybe to something bigger. Let's watch here. Uh, it has been re reviewed, but we've seen times like that where, you know, it it can get reviewed and then five minutes later it's to a different magnitude, whether it's smaller or larger. But in this case, I think it's going to be a little bit uh, larger here. Just looking at the seismograph readings out here. It's pretty much hitting every single one of them, so we'll double check on that. Uh, but as of right now, there is still a uh, tsunami threat limited there to the area of Japan and the uh, Russia area. Nothing to the west coast, uh, which is good. But uh, we'll continue to watch that. That's a decent size event out there. Goodness. And it is uh, well, it's offshore to the north of uh, Tokyo, well north. Limited population out here, I believe. So that is good news as well as far as, uh, you know, not uh, being too much of a damaging event. But being very close here to this region, that could uh, definitely could be bad there for tsunami activity. This looks like a pretty populated area down here, major city. And that earthquake just sits right up here. So these subduction zone quakes there, which it is into the subduction zone, about 33 miles or so, uh, is very capable of producing 
uh, a tsunami out there. So we'll have to definitely watch that. Either way, it's been a, a very active day out here and technically last week or so pretty active out here across the Aleutian Trench and Russia area. You know, with this newer quake right here, I'm even more concerned with the area that has not ruptured along the Kuro Kamchatka Trench. The 8.8 .8 struck back here in July, but there's a segment right about here southward to the Japan Trench, pretty much right there where the 7.6 struck, uh, that has not had any mega quake rupture in quite a while. Uh, so as as we know, we can get, you know, in a 7.6, is that a mega quake? I, mega quake would be probably above an 8.0, which is very capable here along the um, Kuro Kamchatka. But that's a major earthquake regardless. Not a mega quake. Uh, anything above 8.0, 8.0, I consider pretty much a mega quake. But uh, Hawaii out, out there rocking and rolling as well, it looks like. So we'll cover this and more in the update morning update here in just a little bit. I haven't even had time to start my coffee maker. <laughs> just starting off a Monday with a, a big boom. Uh, and, of course, we had some X-Flare activity last night. Not getting anything right now. Looks like some C-Flare activity. Uh, we have yet to be hit by that CME that's coming. Uh, it's going to be later tonight. So either way for now uh 7.6 earthquake japan region just refreshing this double check make sure that they haven't upgraded the magnitude still at 7.6 there is that tsunami statement uh the shake map out there uh, as you can see pretty uh heavy here around this area where that uh, major city is here i'm not for sure how you would pronounce that but uh Pretty strong shaking, I'm sure, felt in this area. And, of course, the tsunami um, threat exists for this region. Definitely uh, get away from shore if you're out there in that area for Japan the uh, and the Russia area. All this information, of course, can be found there on tsunami.gov and the USGS website. And, obviously, it's not a phantom earthquake because, as you can see, the seismograph stations out there are lighting up with a big earthquake reading out there picking up pretty much all over the place new zealand <clears throat> there's a station in chile even picking up that p wave uh ringing the earth like a bell there and it will for a little while these large events tend to do that so we'll be back here in a little bit with a further examination of this earthquake and take a look at global earthquake activity here uh in uh well it's a little early i gotta eat some breakfast gotta have some coffee gotta wake up here probably about an hour or so uh, but I did want to get this information out because there is a tsunami statement with this uh, large 7.6 earthquake there uh, into the Japan region. All right, we'll catch you guys out here in a little bit. 